now we shall look into step 9 uh, step 9 will be similar to step 8 here also we are going to enter the data of third attachment path 9 and r n3 in step 8 uh, we have entered the data for 4 and r n1 so uh, i will just uh, try to draw the isometric so that uh, then we can discuss uh, further so i am going to draw once again this you should not uh, forget the isometric okay so now here this is the gate wall check wall and the pipe is going like this here we are interested with only the third attachment path okay this is cm3 this is r n3 and uh, this is i'm sorry yeah this one is like nine the sprinkler this is 10th sprinkler and this size is 1 1 by 4 <laughs> so this size is 1 1 by 4 which is nothing but 32 mm so now what we are going to do similar uh, to the step 8 we are going to mention all the data available for this uh, 9 rn3 here we will find out the equivalent k factor okay why we are not considering this 10 rn3 i will explain you in the next slide or in the next step so now uh, initially we are going to consider 9 rn3 okay and uh, from this we are going to calculate the equivalent k factor so now i'll zoom it for you see if you see here we have a node 1 9 and this is rn3 node 2 since both are in the same elevation 19 feet and k factor of 9th sprinkler also 5.6 and this q is 18.9 gpm we already calculated from this particular nodes the formula is q is equal to area into density we have discussed this several times so now the nominal id is 11 by 4 32 mm but the actual id is 1.380 and uh, here also we have 1t if you see this particular point this also is t so we are going to consider this t here so t since the pipe size is 11 by 4 the equivalent uh, you know length is 6 feet in previous step when the pipe size was 1 inch the equivalent feet is 5 feet for t since the pipe size increased to 11 by 4 the t will be 6 feet equivalent length so we have mentioned that here and now length will be 7 feet only since from 9 r and 3 the distance is 7 feet 7 feet only and the fitting we already mentioned like 6 feet so here we are mentioning <coughs> excuse me so total will be 7 plus 6 13 feet so we got the uh, you know total uh, length and here based on c factor 120 we are going to calculate by using the friction loss formula this friction loss per foot so 0 0.031 and then finally we are going to uh, you know calculate the total pressure 11.4 from this formula and then since here also 9 and rn3 are on the same elevation so we kept as 0 and friction loss will be 13 multiplied by 0 0.031 so it will be about 0 0.4 so we are going to as pt plus e pe plus pf so total pressure loss will be 11.8 now the k factor will be equivalent k factor at r n3 will be uh, uh, you know we need to use this formula q divided by root pt then we are going to get the value it is k equivalent will be 5.5 so in next step we will discuss about the third attachment path but with 10 r n3 10 r n3 and from rn3 to cm3 these details we will enter in the hydraulic calculation form why we are not going to consider uh, uh, the k factor from 10 rn3 because here you can see that the uh, you know since 10th sprinkler is the most challenging sprinkler so we will consider this as uh, uh, you know hypothetically as uh, uh, the path i mean the water is flowing through this so this is rn3 to 9 will be uh, you know against the 
10 R and 3 path. So that's the reason we are considering R 9 and 3 to calculate the equivalent K factor. If you don't understand, uh, no problem. In next step, I will explain you in detail. So just a minute. Uh, yeah, I think we have covered everything in this particular step. So uh, one second. Yeah, in next step, we will discuss further.